Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you guys me going to get my eyebrows microbladed. I am so nervous, um, but I was offered um, from Bay Brows to get my brows done with them um, and I agreed because I wanted to get my, my my eyebrows microbladed anyway and I love her work. I wouldn't go to someone that I wouldn't trust. Um, her Instagram is just Bay Brows. I'll leave it all linked down below in the description and I'll leave yeah all of her social media sites and you can see her work and what she does but I love her work. She does really fine hairs and she just makes everything look so natural and good and that's exactly what I wanted. So I'm about to go on ahead there now. My appointment's at 10 o'clock and it is nearly 9 o'clock so I better quickly go because she lives in Papamoa so that's about an hour away. Um, but yeah, I am quite nervous. I've never had like a tattoo before. I don't know what my pain tolerance is like. So yeah, and they use like little micro needles in your face. But this is my brows now. Um, they are like, they aren't the most sparsest brows, but they are uneven. And I reckon it would look better like when they're like all done. See like all these gaps in here, all at the top. And these two are like uneven. I want this one to be like longer. So yeah, I can't wait to get them done, um, but yeah, I am nervous of the pain. Kayla seems really nice, so I had a consultation with her about two weeks ago. Um, I'll leave all of her prices down below as well if you are interested in getting your brows microbladed. I see so many people getting their eyebrows microbladed now, and it just saves you so much time in the morning getting ready, as well as like when you're natural, your brows just look full and beautiful and defined like all year round. Um, and by the way, microblading lasts about two years. So it isn't permanent, um, but it depends on the person as well. So if you have like really oily skin, it can last between a year to two years. Um, and also the pain level, it's different for everybody. So it just depends who you are. They do put numbing cream on though. I'll show you the whole process. Matthew's going to be filming it for me today, her little studio and her doing it on me. So many people are getting their brows microbladed. It's like the new trend at the moment. Microblading has been around for a long time, but it's become more popular I think in the last like year or two um, and yeah so I so can't wait by the way it takes 10 days for your brows to heal after getting them done so you might look a bit crazy and your brows do go a bit scabby but you can't get them wet for 10 days so that's what is going to be the hardest for me is like having a shower and just like trying to keep the water off my brows but they give you like ointment to put on um, but this vlog is going to show you all like the healing process and like um, me getting them done um, and I'll film them after like 10 days and how they're getting on and by the way when they first put the color on you it is darker so it's like three shades darker than what your brows will be so don't be worried when you see me with like dark as brows um, they will fade down a lot um, so yeah I'll take you along with me <laughs> This is Kayla, guys. She's about to do my brows. Woo! Yeah. It's going to be like the bottom of the brow, the top of the brow where the arches meet. Oh, yeah. So this is where your hair naturally sits. Yeah. Um, and now I'm going to go through and do where the, the brow starts, where the arches, and then the end of the brow. Then I basically just connect all the dots. Yeah. Oh, cool. I didn't realize you did it with it. Like a then after I do this, I'll get you to sit up and we see, make sure you don't look weird when you're facing me. That here's the, this one's a bit bushy even. <laughs> yeah, you're a lot like, the top yeah. of this one. So what's that? Numbing cream or something? Yeah, this is right. numbing cream. Start really light and gentle like I'm a baby. <laughs> you are a baby. I am a baby. <laughs> Oh, 
That's not, are you kidding? Is that like cutting? Mm hmm I don't even sound bad. Do people fuss over that? Sometimes. I don't know. I honestly like can't even feel that. Just tell me to move if I'm on your way. Oh my god. I ripped myself up so much, but it's good though. Must be like such a fine blade. It doesn't hurt, by the way, guys. I was freaking out for no reason. <laughs> Your eyebrows are like massively brown. Ooh. <laughs> Looks so funny. Yeah, that is a bit sore down to the second <laughs> one. That's right there. Some places that hurt more than others. But it's like bearable, like it's not like, oh. So here are my brows guys, oh my god I love them so much, I love the shape and the colour and everything, it obviously will um, fade down 60% but even so, like I like this colour right now, it didn't even hurt, like it just felt like a little bit of a like scratch, barely anything, so I'm so happy that it didn't hurt and I love how they look like, I knew I could trust Kayla and I was in such good hands and she made me feel comfortable so that is so amazing. I'm so impressed with like the little fine hairs that she's done, I love it so much, yay. I can't wait to like go out of the house and not have to like fill in my brows and stuff like that. I'm so glad with how they look, like this is obviously not even like how they look like when they're healed but even now they look like amazing so I can't wait to see what they look like after 10 days of healing and stuff obviously I'll show you guys like how they look like in a few days and also after 10 days and I'll also show you the like final result of how they look like as well and then I go for another touch up session in about six weeks time just to touch up any color or any um you know pigment loss and stuff like that so yeah I'm super happy yay I only had to do two layers because my um, skin held the pigment really well, so that's super good. Um, the only time it hurt was probably in this brow, like underneath when she was on the second layer, and it was like barely anything, like it was still bearable. Um, and lots of people talk about the scratchy noise that it makes when it goes through your brows, but it barely sounded like anything, like the sound didn't bother me either. So yeah, so happy. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is day two of having my brows microbladed. So Kayla from Bay Brow said that today would be even darker than yesterday from when I first got them done. Um, I can see that they are a little bit darker, but they haven't like gone crazy dark. Um, I don't notice any like weird weeping or any like scabbing yet, or I haven't experienced them going itchy. Um, I just have avoided the rain though, because it has been raining in the last 24 hours. So like when I go outside, I'm like hiding my brows like this so they don't get wet by the rain. Um, but yeah, they still look so good. By the way, I am wearing makeup, but you aren't allowed to put makeup in your brows. Um, so I've literally, you can see like up close, I've avoided all the areas around my brows with foundation. That's why it's like white 
around there. Um, but yeah, I'm just putting foundation like up to the brow. Um, yeah, you can't get them like dirty or get makeup in them or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so far so good. Um, I can't wait for these to heal down and fade down a little bit. They obviously look normal when I wear makeup, but when I wear no makeup, I look a little crazy. My brows do look a little bit dark but yeah that's going to fade down up to 60% after 10 days um, or after 7 to 10 days so Kayla has given me a little care pack um, caring for your brows like instructions on what I have to do and stuff like putting balm on at night and cleaning them three times a day so to keep the dirt out and to prevent any, any infections I clean them with some um saline solution i think it is um and then she's given me this little pack with like a spoolie balm little bit of um gauze cloth so i have been putting a little bit of saline solution which she's given on a little piece of gauze cloth like this which she also has given and then i pat it in my brows just to clean it and make sure there's no like dirt or any like accidental makeup got on there or anything um, I'm trying to keep them super clean um, what you do in 10 days depends on how your brows will turn out so I really want to not get mine wet keep mine really clean and maintained and yeah so yeah so far so good I will update you guys in the next few days and let you know how they are going and if they are like scabbing or anything like that and yeah Hey guys, so it is now Tuesday, um, day four of my microblading experience. So I just thought I'd update you guys. Um, I thought I wouldn't update you guys yesterday on Monday because I don't think they were much different to Sunday when I did do a little update for you guys. Um, but I noticed that today they are a little, little bit um, lighter. I don't know if you can tell from my Sunday clip but they are like probably half a shade or a shade lighter which I quite like um because they are they were quite dark on Sunday um so I'm quite liking that um I managed to wash my hair today without getting my brows wet which was really good I just put the shower head quite low and you know held my head back like this and then had like a flannel over my face so that my brows wouldn't get wet it feels so good to have clean hair I was trying to avoid like washing my hair for ages but I thought I'll just be really careful um but yeah so they're not like scabbing up or anything at the moment sorry about my horrible skin I just noticed that like at the ends here they are like starting to be a little bit scabby like dotting away um so she said that will be normal after like the third or fourth day but yeah they're not scabbing up like crazy and they're not like crazy itchy but sometimes I'll get the odd itch like especially in the front here and it, it's like so hard not to touch it okay so I just turned this way and you can see it a little bit better so when I come close like this you can see the color so I just put in some balm um, from my little care kit that Kayla has given in my brows I put that in every night and that just prevents like itchiness and dryness and all of that kind of stuff um, so yeah I really like how they look like you can see the color a little bit better on the side um, but yeah so I do go for a color touch-up session in another six weeks um so yeah I don't think I'd get her to fix much apart from just a little bit here I'd get her to add in like a little extra hair up there on the arch I don't know if you can see that it's like really minor um but she said like that's what the touch-up session is for just to touch up the color or any like pigment loss or anywhere where she's like missed or something like that um and I'd probably get her to make my brows a little little bit more like squarish in the front I really do like the shape but I quite like the squarish brows and she said in the first appointment that it's better to um, do less than do more especially on the first session so um, she said on the touch-up session we can make them a little bit more square which will be quite nice so I reckon like in the front here where it like curves I'll just get her to add like maybe like two straight hairs going up um, like yeah two straight hairs or something there um, and I think that will look really good so yeah um, I'll see you guys in the next few days or whenever I'm starting to see changes hey guys I thought I would update you on my brows today so today is Thursday which makes it the fifth day of having my brows microbladed and I can see a difference that's why I thought I'd jump on here um first of all they are a little bit lighter they have faded down but 
Um, this brow hasn't really scabbed up much, um, apart from a little bit at the ends at the tails, but this one definitely has like in the front here. So what's happened is that they are slightly scabbing up and when I'm brushing through them with the little um, spoolie, the little like pigment healed skin bits are like going everywhere and like all over my face. So I assume that's like um, the process of the healing I hope. Um, but yeah, I really like the colour that is left underneath um, all of the bits that have come off. As you, as you can see there, it's much lighter than it is on this side. And I think this looks much better um, when I'm natural. I'm sorry, the sliding is really bad and I look so horrible at the moment, but oh well. Um, but yeah, the other thing I'm also noticing is that my skin is getting really dry, like all under here and all under here. Um, I think that might be because I'm cleaning it with sodium chloride like three times, two times a day. Um, so it might just be drying out my skin. Um, and yeah, I've really missed washing my face properly with like face wash. I find that my skin is getting much more breakouts everywhere because I'm just using my Garnier Micellar Water and I'm just like getting like around my brows because you can't get your brows wet. They aren't like crazy itchy or anything sometimes I'll get like a little itch in an area and then like it's really hard not to touch it but sometimes if it's really bad I'll just give it like a little tap and try not to touch it because I know they say not to touch it but sometimes if it's like extremely itchy in that place I'll just give it like a little tap and it will go away um, but yeah, I'm really liking the colour that's underneath. Also, one more thing Kayla said, um, is that some hairs could appear to be fully gone, but the strokes will reappear or may reappear, like, a few days or weeks later, I'm sure she said. Um, and I've noticed that, like, here in the top, um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's, like, hairs in the top there that are like fully gone which is so weird and I can't see them. This is all part of the process having like missing like hairs they may reappear. If they don't for some reason or if um, my skin didn't take to the pigment that's what the colour touch up session is for so that is in six weeks time like I said um, start of September so they will go over those areas um, that have like gone or like really faded down. So yeah that is the update and I will see you guys again soon when my brows make a dramatic change. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm here to give you guys another update about my brows. So it is Sunday today, so it is the eighth day of having my brows microbladed. And apparently, like, the healing time is between seven days to ten days. Um, I've noticed that they've pretty much, like, healed. Um, probably, like, one day more until, like, all the funny black stuff has, like, come out of my brows. But... This is technically the colour they will be and I'm so happy. I like absolutely love this colour. This is the colour that my brows are probably naturally and it's the colour of my regrowth. You can't really see much of my regrowth because I just got my hair done um, yesterday at the salon. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, this is the colour that my brows would look like when I fill them in. Um, and I've had no problems with like itchiness really or too much scabbiness. I've just had like slightly dry skin around my forehead. Um, and that's about it. But yeah, I haven't had any like crazy itching or anything. I love this colour. I haven't had any patchiness whatsoever in this brow. All I've had is a little bit of patchiness as you can see here in that brow so a few hairs have like faded away um apparently they may reappear um hopefully they'll reappear if they do then i'll let you know and i'll give you an update but if they don't then that's what the touch-ups for like i said um, in my last clip um but yeah so that's the only thing really is all this part just has faded like a little bit like some of the hair strokes but it looks fine like because I've got natural like hairs so I just brush it up and it looks fine um, but you can see it like when you look close and when the hairs are down a little bit more um, so yeah that's what the touch up will be for but yeah I just love my brows so much and so far I think it is definitely worth it so I'll probably do one more update for you guys on Tuesday and let you know how it all goes because Tuesday will be the 10th. Hey guys, I'm doing another update on my microblading experience 
experience. So today is Tuesday the 14th of August so it is my 10th day of having my brows microbladed and I just want to say they have healed perfectly. They are fully healed now. Um, I just absolutely love this colour. Like this is me with no makeup but a bit of mascara and a bit of concealer under my eyes and this is my brows with no product in. Like they look so good and for the last few days at work it's been amazing like not having to do my brows um, or fill them in um, because I don't wear makeup for work but I do um, wear a bit of mascara and I did wear some brow product and a bit of concealer just to look alive. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's been so good. Even on the weekends, um, I haven't even put brow product in, even though I could. Um, but yeah, I think it looks perfectly fine. I had no problems with healing, and I will get them touched up in six weeks, so the start of August, so that she'll just touch up, like, all the bits up here. It's not even that bad, but obviously some hairs have, like, faded down, and she said some might reappear. Um, but yeah, they look so good. This brow held like so well. Um, as you can see when I like put my finger through, you can still see all like the hairs underneath. So it's made them look so good and I can't wait to go and get the touch up and see like the final, final result. But so far like these look amazing and I'm so happy. I can't believe I contemplated getting microblading done for so long. I'm so glad I got it done, especially with Kayla from Bay Brow. She's so talented and I would like literally travel up from the bottom of the country to go and see her because I trust her so much and I love her work. So I might make another little vlog of how my um, brows are or I might like feature my brows in a vlog or something um, when I go and get the touch up just so you can see like how they look like fully healed after the touch up um, so it will kind of be like a little follow on video um, but if you guys are wanting to get your brows microbladed I 100% recommend that you guys do um, you guys won't regret it 